Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to easily set up a Discord voice chat widget in XSplit Broadcaster for both recordings and live streams. Stay tuned. So those of you that don't know, Discord is a really popular chat program, not just for text chat though. It's actually a very capable video conferencing tool and also uh, for audio as well. So today I'm gonna show you how to configure a Discord voice chat widget, in which we can overlay into XSplit Broadcaster for recordings and live streams. So let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, obviously you have to have a Discord uh, username, so make sure you have that, and also you have to have a Discord server, whether it's yours or someone else's that you're actually in, you can also use theirs, make sure you have their permission, of course, as you'll be overlaying uh, an audio chat room, of course, in your software, so make sure that uh, you have permission to do so. I would recommend making your own Discord server as well for your own brand, it's very popular now, and that way you can kind of create your own communities and have a place for them to chat with you and talk to each other as well. So it's a really good kind of way to build a community. So first thing now we have to go into is our stream kit for Discord. Going to streamkit.discord.com backslash overlay. So right here we go, Discord stream kit overlay for OBS and XSplit. We're gonna click on the right button here, install for XSplit. There's a few other widgets we can also configure here, the status and chat widget, but we'll probably do those in a separate video together. Today, we're just gonna focus on the main one that I use a lot, and the most popular one is the voice widget. So click on voice widget, and we'll go from top to bottom here. Server, this is the server you'll be using. So for me, it's Nintendo Chit Chat. That is my server. Obviously, all the servers you're a member of here and that you're a part of will be in here in the list. I have several here, but uh, again, we'll be using Nintendo Chit Chat. That's my server. And then voice channel. This is very important here. Make sure you select the correct channel if you choose the wrong one. And then you and other people are actually in the other channel. Uh, you won't be able to pick up the audio in your stream or recording. So make sure you pick the proper voice channel for this. So you can choose a voice channel that's open to the public if you want on your server. Uh, but I recommend if you're doing something on your stream or recording that's only meant for certain people to create a specific voice chat channel for that. And you can also set permissions that way too to allow only specific people into that voice chat room on your Discord server. So for me, I have several voice chat servers here. I'm going to choose one that's actually uh, kind of just for a couple of people and that's my podcast studio here so i actually use this quite a bit not just in my gaming live streams but also for my podcast to import the audio with me and a guest or my co-host so I'll click on podcast studio and as you can see on the right here this is kind of an example of what it's going to look like in the overlay this background is just kind of a general background so whatever your content or source will be in the background this is the overlay here of the person's avatar and their username for Discord. So as you see as I'm talking here, my avatar has a green ring around it. And that means I am actively talking on the mic and it's picking it up. And when I don't talk, nothing happens. It goes black, okay? A few more options here. You can show speaking users only. We'll click this on, so that way in the overlay here, only people who are talking will only show their avatars at that time. Otherwise, if you have 10 people in the room and don't check this, you get like a long list of names. Looks kind of looks silly actually, so make sure you click this option here, very important. You can also choose to have smaller avatars, so if I click this here, it makes it a little bit smaller. So again, if you're having more people in the room to chat with, maybe consider using the small avatar option as well. You can also hide names if you want to and just have their avatars show only. But I like having the names. That way those people who are watching too on the stream can kind of see usernames and they may know who those people are. That way it's kind of cool to do that. Then you can do different text colors here through the palette, any color you want. I uh, do the size, the outline, the outline size, shadowing too. This is all available to you here, kind of cool to be able to change these options if you want to. And then background settings here too. The background setting is just for where the username is pretty much. So if I change this to uh, like a bright blue, see my name now up here. 
the text is white and the background is blue. So if you want to have more custom colors, you can do that here. But it's really up to you. I usually keep it black. It's kind of standard. And those are the main options here. Now to get this into XSplit Broadcaster, all you have to do is a couple things. Here's your source code right here. So you're going to click here and then right click and copy into the clipboard and then go into XSplit Broadcaster. So we're going to use this scene right here. This is really simple to do. I'm going to go down to add source in the lower left and we're going to click on a web page and we'll enter that URL that we just copied into our clipboard into this URL right here for the source and click OK. And now we have our overlay. I'm going to move it over here to the top left of our screen. And you can see me right now. I'm actually talking and it's picking it up within my source here in my scene as well in XSplit Broadcaster. Now we have the Discord voice chat channel, the podcast studio set up on my stream or on my recording here. That way it picks up not just me, but also other guests I may have uh, coming onto the channel to talk. So I'll go to Discord here as well. We can see this. And right now I'm in my Discord server here, as you can see. In the podcast studio, I'm talking, and that overlay is picking up, integrated right into Excel Broadcaster right here. So if my co host Samantha would join me into the podcast studio as she would talk, her name would also show up in the overlay for Discord. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, you can, of course, drag the source around uh, wherever you want for ourselves here. There we go. Make sure we click on it here so we can drag this source around wherever we want to. We can minimize it. We can shrink it down if we want to even more into a little corner, just like that. That way it's just showing that. But really, that is very simple and easy to do. A very, very powerful solution too. Uh, Discord, again, is a really popular platform and their video conferencing and audio is really clear and solid to use. I've really had no problems with it whatsoever. I actually used to use Skype a couple of years ago when we started doing the podcast, but Skype would cut in and out and disconnect, and Discord has been really a lifesaver for me for my podcast. So give this a try. This is the Discord overlay, the voice chat widget for Excellent Broadcaster, and uh, give it a try, guys. Let me know in the comments below how you make out, and thanks for watching. So there you have it. Within a few minutes, we have our Discord voice chat room overlaid in Xbox Broadcaster, ready to go for recordings and live streams. Whether you do a gaming live stream or gaming videos, or you do a podcast or a chat show, I really think this is for everyone. So give it a try. Let me know in the comments below how you make out. Make sure to hit that like button for us as well and subscribe if you're new. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time.